What is up everybody? This is Michael Filesage checking in here and today I got some sad news guys. Here are the ponies and look at what's wrong. Did you guys catch it? I believe this is Trick. I believe that is Trick. I believe that is Trick. Trike. I know it's called trike, if you call it shortly, but I just call it trick. There we go. So that is a real bummer to say the least. It was colonizing so nicely. This is the casing layer, by the way. The part of me is like, oh, maybe it's just undifferentiated mycelium, but yeah, I mean, come on. This is probably trick. So that is a real bummer, guys. But I do have two more jars of poo lovers. And I do have a bunch more cultures of them, so I this experimentation will continue. But you know what really bums me out is the casing layer was done properly. And as you guys have seen, the casing had no problem on the, the Floridian grass lovers. But, uh, you know, I'm surprised that it wasn't really the dung itself that uh, contaminated, because that's more sketchy than the casing in my opinion. But the dung just colonized beautifully, looks fine. Um, I will take a closer look at it after this video, but last I checked it was fine. It's only in the casing layer, so I really need to think about that. Um, because the casing, here's the casing, right? This is the exact same batch of casing. And it's not contaminated, it's completely normal, it's completely fine. So, you know, what I think is, these guys require a lot of moisture. A lot of misting, way more than core lovers, right? But they also require a lot of FAE. So to adjust for that, I misted them a lot. And it's fine to mist the casing a lot, but they need a lot of air exchange at the same time. So what I was doing was, I was flipping this lid. I don't, I never do this for core lovers. If you guys have seen my older videos that aren't up anymore, um, I said the shoe boxes get plenty of FAE, so they, there's no need. So it was like this, right? But then I have to also consider that right now it is very cold here. So I don't leave the window open to keep the heat. So whereas in warmer months, when I usually cultivate, the window is always open. I got the fan going. So you know what? Maybe next time I might I might just use a fan just to keep more air circulation going because these guys do need more FAE. So I'm going to chalk this up as a learning experience. You know, easy come, easy go. Um, and in my opinion, poo lovers are one of the more difficult ones to grow. Definitely one of the top difficult ones, at least of the commonly grown ones. So that's that, but I will get it eventually. And you know, I got those two jars of poo lovers still. So I'm gonna take what I learned here and I'm gonna put it there, fingers crossed. But while I'm talking and while I'm making all these videos for you guys, they, there are the poo cakes, right? The poo cakes are silently colonizing in their little corner and they are doing great. They are colonizing. One of the jars is almost fully colonized, it's just the bottom that needs to colonize, but all around, most of it is just colonized. I got like two jars that are pretty similar like that, and I got two more that are catching up. So, you know, and that's why the pancakes are great, because A, you don't have to worry about pasteurization, not only that, because you could sterilize the poo and everything, but you have four different experiments, right? Whereas with this, it's just one tub. So if this contaminates, this whole thing is gone. One quarter spawn, bye bye you know, all that time, bye-bye. But with pancakes, you got a bunch. So, you know, maybe one or two may contaminate, but you might have uh, two more that are going, right? So that's the plan. And you know, I've been considering, I've been thinking about using one of the spawn of the poo lovers. This is pretty much mostly colonized. I was thinking to sort of speed up and sort of uh, do a pseudo pancake. So I take half pint jar and then I put a bunch of the spawn inside and I mix it up, make a little bulk grow right inside the jar and then put a plastic bag on it like a poo cake just to sort of simulate a pancake grow uh, while we wait for those guys to colonize and I get the advantage of uh, poo cakes and that I got a bunch of little guys going so if one contaminates it's all right but as I said I believe this is a casing problem I mean it is most likely a casing problem because it was completely fine until I cased it. A day after I cased it, these guys started popping up. And the casing was pasteurized properly, right? As you can see, there's evidence here, the casing is fine. It's just the guys on here, which are much more moist, very moist. So it's probably the air exchange problem here. I'm gonna give it, give it up another try. Um, and also, as you guys may have noticed, I didn't show you guys this, but uh, yeah, two nights ago, I uh, put some Floridians, grass lovers inside here. 
So they're colonizing nicely. They're doing nicely, so. And if you've been following this channel for any length of time, then you may know that there were two previous attempts made of these Grass Lover uh, shoeboxes, but with dirty spawn. Now this is the first time I'm actually doing it with clean spawn, so I'm very looking forward to the results of this. Yeah, hopefully we'll have some fruits. Not as fast as the uh, Poo Lovers though. This is from a clone from one of the Grass Lover cakes. And yesterday I actually said bye bye to the, the Grass Lovers, the cakes. Here we have some Sclerotia. And I got the biggest Sclerotia, guys. This is the hardest from one jar, right? They are gonna be very tasty fried in olive oil. And this is around 45 grams of delicious, delicious fungi. And look at the size of this, guys. This guy alone was almost 30 grams. It was like 28 point something grams. That is massive, guys. It's like a meteorite. Huge. I was like, oh, you know, I was harvesting these guys and I was like, oh, the, I guess this cake wasn't a very good producer. And then I get to the bottom and this guy is just like in there just chilling. I was like, holy crap. It's so fun to unearth these guys. I feel like an archaeologist or a paleontologist even, like in Jurassic Park, you know? Those scenes where they're using like the brush and everything to uncover the fossils. That's what it feels like with these guys. It's like, oh, I'm uncovering ancient, <laughs> ancient stuff. Yeah, guys, just massive, massive. I'm gonna definitely be cloning this. Oh, definitely. And this is why uh, I love um, grass lovers because they're such good producers because they didn't just produce stones, right? They also produce tons and tons and tons of fruits, good quality stuff, and they're not that difficult. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. Microfile Sage, checking out.